This test determines the capillary water absorption behavior of hardened grouts by a gravimetric method. The absorption of water in a hardened grout should correspond to that of the materials being grouted to ensure compatibility of original and intervention materials. For this test, we will need caliper with a resolution of 0.01 mm, balance accurate to within 0.01 gram, tray with a surface area more than 20 times larger than the inflow surface area of the specimen, deionized water, perforated stainless steel metal, lint-free cloth, a thermometer and relative humidity meter occurred to within 1 degree centigrade and 1% respectively, stopwatch, transparent plastic box large enough to provide cover over the water filled tray and the upright specimen, 4 mil plastic sheet to cover the open side of the plastic box, an oven, desiccator and desiccant, a tile saw, V-shaped specimen holder for cutting. Cure the columns under sealed conditions between 21 and 25 degrees centigrade for four weeks. First, sew the column perpendicular to its axis to obtain three cylindrical specimens with the length of 100 millimeter each. Next, extrude each specimen from the plastic tube by sewing the plastic tube covering the cylindrical specimen along the length without making any sew marks on the specimen while it is held and positioned using a V-shaped holder. In some cases, specimen can be removed by simply pushing with a finger from one end. Record the position of the specimen in the column. Dry the specimens in an oven at 40 degrees centigrade for 20 hours and cool the specimens to ambient temperature in a desiccator for four hours before weighing. Repeat the drying and weighing procedure until a constant weight is reached. This condition is achieved when the difference between two successive measurements at a 24 hour interval is less than or equal to 0.1% of the weight of the specimen. Once constant weight is reached, measure the length and diameter of each specimen to the nearest 0.1 millimeter using the caliper. Record the values on the data collection sheet. Weigh the dry specimen to the nearest 0.01 gram and record as M0 on the data collection sheet. Next, fill the tray with deionized water until the water level is 2 mm above the perforated stent. During testing, the water level in the tray is kept constant by the addition of water as needed. Then, cover the test setup with a plastic box and sheeting to minimize evaporation and to control the relative humidity of the surrounding. Desiccants can be used to prevent condensation. Finally, place the specimen on the stand and start the stopwatch. Stop the stopwatch after 30 seconds and simultaneously remove the specimen from the stand. Lightly blot the wet face with a damp cloth to remove surface water and weigh the specimen while the wet face is at the top. Record the weight as MT on the data collection sheet. Place the specimen back on the stand as quickly as possible. Start the stopwatch again. Repeat the weighing procedure at 1, 2, 5, 10, 15, 30, and 60 minutes and then every hour until the water level reaches the top of the specimen or until the difference between two successive measurements is less than or equal to 1%.
The amount of absorbed water after time t in grams is calculated as the difference between the weight of the specimen at time t and the dry weight of the specimen at time zero, both in grams. The weight of water absorbed per unit area in kilograms per square meter is calculated by dividing the amount of water absorbed after time t by the surface area of the grass specimen touching the water, where d is the diameter of the grass specimen in this equation. Next, the weight of water absorbed per unit area is plotted as a function of the square root of time in seconds. The slope of the straight part of this curve is the water absorption coefficient, a, in kilograms per square meter per square root of seconds. Finally, calculate the average water absorption coefficient using the results of three specimens. Average water absorption coefficient should be obtained from at least two individual results, 